Now, did anybody hear this rumor? Because right before the election wound down, there was a rumor, I think Fox News picked it up, that there was a auditions for Trump TV. I heard, heard the rumor. Yeah. There's some articles on, on the internet. Yeah. yeah. No, no, on Fox News picked it up. Mm -hmm. There was right. a real audition right. for a conservative network saying we're looking for, uh, you know, energetic conservative people. And people actually thought, wait a minute, this has to be for Trump TV. Well, anyway, I can tell you definitively that it was a hoax because uh, we put it out. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to see what fucking people would be willing to do. Because, let's face it, what you guys do, sitting around and uh, wasting everybody's time, <laughs> it pays pretty well. Not tonight, but, <laughs> but generally it plays pretty well. So let's take a look right now at our auditions right here in the studio for Trump TV. We sent out a casting call for talent to audition for an exciting new conservative television network. Before long, every media outlet from Fox News to the Washington Post assumed what we had hoped. Is Trump planning a TV network of his own? A casting call is being held the night before the election for an as yet unnamed news network, perhaps to be called Trump TV. Here's how they went. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, and tell me your name again. Kurt. Kurt, yes. thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh... Live in northern New Jersey. Also have a degree in political science. Graduated summa cum laude, which yeah. I'm very proud of. And, uh, you know, obviously you're a conservative. I am a conservative. I am a registered Republican. Did you get a script? Yes, I did. It's right here. Yes, and we need you to remember that the key is subcultic. You know, I'm here with my uh, co-casting director, Richard. <laughs> Richard's worked on the West End in England. Uh, he's very experienced, and uh, Roger's back there, but don't, uh, don't worry about Roger. He doesn't bite. <laughs> OK, why don't we start with... Uh... Mr. Ailes. All right, OK, Hi. well, let's not go crazy. <laughs> OK, sorry, Mr. Ailes. All right, let's go. Uh, whenever you're ready, take your own cue. And welcome back. Tonight on Straight Talk, Growing Pains. Social change used to take place over generations, but thanks to aggressive social justice warriors, it now happens overnight. So let's be patient with those of us who need time to come to terms with this new normal. Let's consider adopting a policy that all transgenders, when out in public, should be forced to wear a bell. It's a humane <laughs> intermediate step until all of us are fully adjusted. And aren't we entitled to that? Yes, hello. Thank you for coming. This is Joey. Yes. Yes, OK. Very good. Uh, thank you for uh, coming. Trump supporter from the beginning? Uh, about two months before he announced, I basically was fighting with every Republican that he has to be the nominee and that he's definitely going to run. What was it that you saw that they didn't? I saw somebody that's not a crook, like all the rest of them. Damn straight. <laughs> OK, so we have a number of great uh, scripts for you. These are all uh, approved editorials uh, approved by Mr. Trump himself. And please remember to keep your eyes open. Thank you. That's, uh, that's good. Uh, Richard is uh, my co-casting director here. OK. OK, I'm going to count you down. Five, four, three, two, one. The fact is, many of us are still uncomfortable with gays in the military. Now, it's far too late to undo it. But because we all know gay sex is more dangerous than regular sex, Perhaps it should be supervised by a commanding officer. We need to protect our servicemen. As for the Amy Schumers and Lena Dunhams, who seek to champion every deviant act and shout vagina to the heavens, let's take a step back. I say don't talk about vaginas unless one is pulsating right in front of your face. That's great talk for tonight. Don't forget, no show tomorrow due to Christmas. Excellent. I say, I say. Don't talk about vaginas unless one is pulsing right from your face. That's straight talk for tonight. How would you feel about cold reading? The reason we went to cold read is because, you know, the news cycle changes minute to minute. Right. And sometimes your opinions are going to have to be given to you at the last minute. That's fine. This one's about uh, this character, Amy Adams, this actress, mm -hmm. who bashed uh, Mr. Trump uh, recently. So Mr. Trump really wants to, uh, you know. Don't this... blame him. OK, whenever you're ready, take your own cue. Tonight on Straight Talk, 
Big mouths. Over the weekend, actress Amy Adams was asked for her take on this year's contentious presidential election. She said she was, quote, surprised at the tone of Donald Trump's mission to make America great again. We all know Mr. Trump is above petty verbal snipes, so allow me to remind voters that no citizen boasts less credibility than talentless has been Amy Adams. According to reliable sources, syphilis, also known as the cock whore's lament, has long rendered her brain unable to memorize lines without the aid of drugs used almost exclusively to snap large mammals out of severe comas. In an unpredictable world, the only thing certain is that Amy Adams' funeral will only be attended by a trio of vagrants eagerly waiting for a fresh mound to defecate on. Straight talk for tonight. A special good night to the young ladies of the Sunny Hill Retirement Community. Thank you for your cookies. <laughs> It's like you wrote that one. Thank you. You familiar with Amy Adams? Not really, no. No. <laughs> You're not afraid of dressing it up with a little rhetoric the way Mr. Trump does? No. You know what? I mean, sometimes theatrics is, is what you need to drive your point home. Thank you. Yes, that's what we're hoping for here. Oh, we well, we're also wondering if you uh, are a frequent viewer of Japanese manga. Mm, just me trying to, the... Just trying to lighten the mood. Uh, I get it, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. British casting directors. What are you gonna do? Fucking cut it out. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely the tone we're looking for. Give it a shot. And welcome back. Tonight on Straight Talk, censorship. Over the weekend, Donald Trump's staff sent a press release to the numerous members of the mainstream liberal media, and somehow the details never made it to the air. What a surprise. It raises the question, why is the media so reluctant to report that Guinness recently recognized Donald Trump for having the largest penis in the world? <laughs> Apparently, it's liberal policy to never... It's reading it. It's really reading it. ...to report anything good like his business success, his devotion to his children, and his awe-inspiring, air-conditioning, duck-sized phallus. Barack Obama sneezes at MSNBC, goes to breaking news coverage. Meanwhile, you don't hear a peep about a presidential candidate's hog bursting through another pair of double-stitched pants, or that an entire bus full of tourists mistook his member for a bald man in a skin suit passed out on the sidewalk. Yep, that's the America we're living in. A country whose journalists refuse to report that, even while flaccid Donald Trump's massive Johnson would clog the Holland Tunnel. Well, that's straight talk for tonight. If you're looking for a holiday gift, Consider a donation to the Boys and Girls Club of New York. Every dollar helps. Hulu, we cover the elections like a fly on shit. Which reminds me, it's time for lunch.